This this abortion story, though, I mean, if there is anything, and everybody keeps saying like, oh, well, now the abortion story, that'll do it. Like, But this guy has said so many ridiculous things and it's all still like it's within the margin of error. Like, does any what what are people voting on down there? A personal check. He should have just a personal check and he signed it. He just drew a picture of the baby with the X through it when he gave the <laughs> he gave her seven hundred dollars. Don't you love though? He went to a card store. He he went to a card store and got one of those like live, laugh, love cards from Hallmark and wrote it down and gave it to her and I, I mean, <laughs> his his son. Uh, yes, Christian. Who, Christian, who has been a an influencer. Yes, and he's a right, like right wing. Yes, right yes. wing, queer TikToker, social media person. He but fi- very much a provocateur. Like all of a sudden came out and it's like he was like, "Listen, I know yeah. I joke around on here a lot, but we need to take this seriously." <laughs> I love that shit though because that's when like the real family stuff. Like I've got that in my family. Yeah. So like it's all jokes, and then one day you just turn around, and go listen, motherfucker, you ruin our lives. Like right? it's, it's all like I'm branding myself, but then at a certain point, I'm just going to turn around and go, just shut up, shut up, but, Dad. John, you said at the beginning, this isn't a deal breaker. In my no. In no. my heart of hearts, as a Southerner, as a black person, I'm like, you understand? Like this, you're done. You should no. be done in Georgia nope. politics. If, Margin of error. If someone says, he gave me $700 for an abortion. And then mm-hmm. and then when they asked him about it, and they said, uh, did this happen? This man said, this is truly what the first thing out of his mouth. He said, you know, I send so many get well cards. I don't know. <laughs> It's on record. This man said it. That's the first thing he said. Yeah, oh. Before he denied it, he was like, I send so many get well cards. I, I don't know yeah. who I be. By the way, is get well card a euphemism for girls that I forced to have an abortion? <laughs> like, is that? I send so many get well cards. I mean, there was this one girl in Wichita. It, it tells you like, it, it always shows to me like how strong the agenda is, is because on paper, this man has done everything you can possibly do to not be a candidate in Georgia. Including say, you know what? I'm not, listen, I'm not smart. I don't have any policy. I don't even know why I'm here. But yeah, I'm mm-hmm. gonna go to this debate. He's gonna destroy me in he this said, debate. He said he's gonna destroy me. I'm done. Here's what's amazing about it to me. Imagine being in a political party where you're the pro-life party. Your candidate comes out and says, I am pro-life. Did I obviously get a woman who wasn't my wife pregnant, have her have an abortion, pay for it, and all that? We can argue semantics all night long, you know, <laughs> I, on the thing. And and the result of it is the political class going, well, I guess it's all going to come down to turnout. You know, that's like the idea that that doesn't, it, it, it has removed any connection. It's Roy Moore and Doug Jones all over again. Do, right. It's that tiny. He came out and said, we need more fathers in the home. And then they were like, you got a kid you don't even claim. He was like, right. hey, y'all, I want to introduce y'all to my son, man. I, it's, I don't know why this feels like the right time to do it, but come on now, son. Where you at? It's wild and here's what's the most fucked up thing about it if he really wanted to tank his chances all he'd have to do is come out after all that and go get your vaccines people <laughs> they'd be like oh it's bridge too far bridge that's too far. it you're fucking done 